guys, we here and today we are back with Froggit the first, Froggit the second, and Froggit the third in episode two of Undertale True Pacifist Row. Let us continue. Let's look at some. Oh! Ms. Midgosp crawled up close. Is that supposed to be that bug and Modsmall together or something? I can. I need to talk to him. I don't care! Oh, it's bad. Oh. I just wanna tell him to tell him. I DON'T CARE! Wow. He's pretty messed up if you ask me, so... SPAM! Nothing like a long time! <laughs> <laughs> right, so let's look in here. Whee! Ooh, a pineapple. Oh, crap. Vegetoid came out of the earth. Dinner. You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers you a help. Eat your greens. I heard you're supposed to touch the touch the green stuff he throws at you and it heals your HP. It smells like steamed carrot and pea. I can actually scare him. Alright. What's next? Down here, what's in this one? This one, right here. Oh, I really need to look. Let's look and see. Oh, what's this? You found a faded ribbon. Boy. Hmm, cha cha cha. Ms. Gop doesn't have a character. Neither do I. I'm, no, I'm kidding. I have a lot of care in the world. I love this planet Earth. I'm talking about I don't have a care about with him. Oh, look. Naps the book is over there. Let's go chat with it. With that little dude. Hello, Naps the book. I fell down a hole. Now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait. Ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh, well. <laughs> you silly goose. There's another Vegetoid down there. And there's a switch up on this one. Alright, let's flip the switch. What did that do? Oh yeah, it did this. Alright. Let's see, I think it- oh, it's already open. Already open, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this one needs a switch flipping. Um, over here. Yeah, I, I remember everything, so there's like a switch behind this door. And there's a sign that tells you. A pair of Luke's decided to pick on you. Holy mackerel. Don't pick on. Man, these little hypocrites. Okay, so it says they pick on me when they say don't pick on me. So don't pick on me and then they pick on me. So that's called hypocrites. Hypocrites. Finally. Alright. Ah! Um. Let's go! Okay. So let's go in here. Oh, let me get my headphones real quick. I, I want to be able to hear the game because the volume's all the way down. Alright, so let's. We. Um. Let me switch. To switch, press it. You heard it clicking the sound. Oh, something popped up. A pair of Vegetoids came out of the ground. Well, guess what? Well, let me just plug these in real quick. There we go. Okay, so let's... Can... No, we can't spare them yet. Let's dinner. Dang it, I'm almost dead. Mm. 
Dang it. Oh. Oh, uh, when I plugged in my headphones, you couldn't hear. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> Alright. I need, I need headphones that are like, you can actually hear that, and then say, and then hear the thing at the same time. Okay. Sorry about that. Stay determined. Oh, okay. Whatever. Oh! I have to start back from here? What? 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 We'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, we are back. I had to uh, talk to Naps the Blue real quick and then I had to go around and do this stuff. But I'm back, so just press the switch. Are you kidding me? Finally, so much. And space. Wonder. Now, on this one, it's this one, right here. This one, you press it. You want to pick it. That would be this thing, right over here. Alright guys, so check this out. You know that faded ribbon I got? This is what it does. Faded ribbon, armor defense 3. If your cuter monsters won't hit you as That's really useful. So let's equip this. So, let's go over here. Let's forget this. Ribbit, ribbit. Just between you and me. I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask why they were told. We are all too intimidated to talk to them, really. So here is the toy knife. We do not need this, but we're doing pacifist, so we do not need this. So I'm just going to leave that behind. So yeah. Oh dear. That took longer than I thought it would. did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er. Well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Yes! Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the rooms gives you determination. You smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie! I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Is something burning? Oh, make yourself at home. My room is pretty legit. Look at this. I like it. Who is it? What's, who's this over here? Th this must, I think this is Toriel's room. It's an encyclopedia of summer term plants. You open in the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown, oblong seed pods. No more commonly. Well, no more commonly as water sausages. <laughs> it's Toriel's diary. Read the circle passage. Yeah. You read the passage. Why didn't the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bummy. <laughs> the rest of the page is filled with jokes of this similar caliber. Ah, uh, the cactus. Truly one of those things you're of importance. Oh, what? Look! It's a mirror! Look, it's me! Hey! It's you! It's me! It's me! Oh? Is it a water sausage? I think it's a water sausage. Room under renovations. What's this? What's this? More water sausages. Oh! Is it a water sausage? I don't know, is it? Hello! 
have Toriel. Hello there, little one. The pie has not cooled down yet. Perhaps you should take a nap. Sweet dreams. I actually know a little Easter egg that I'm not gonna show you. Ooh, a hat. You found a slice of. Oh, it's pie. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Oh. Okay. So, after I spare Toriel or do whatever I need to do. Up already? I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you one of my favorite bug hunting spots. I also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you with me. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Nothing. When can I... When can I go home? What? This is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I am reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Sure. How to exit the mines. How to exit the mines. Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails sometimes flip their digestive systems as they mature? Interesting. Yeah, how to exit the room. I have to do something. Stay here. If you look at her mouth, it's glitching out. Like at the top. Look. It's like... Okay, Toriel. I think you went downstairs. I'm gonna find out. Hello! You wish to know how to return home. Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. That'd be a good time to go upstairs. Yo! You ain't making me do nothing! Oh. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You native child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I'm not only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Rebel for life. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Nope. I want a spanking. As always. You want to leave so badly? <laughs> you are just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Oh man, Torio blocks away. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, I didn't know Torio was his father. Torio's acting a loop. What do you do? He tried to think of something to say again, but... Toriel is so hard! <gasps> Toriel looks through and scary. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution. I'm gonna keep talking! I don't know how to spare her or anything! Uh, spare? I can't spare her yet. Talk. Ironically, talking does not seem to be No. Do I have to fight her? I don't think I'm supposed to be fighting anybody. Oh, I can't flee. Toriel, attack 80, defense 80. That was best. How do you get out of here?
I'm gonna see. I'm gonna try to keep scaring her and see what happens. Yeah, she's probably gonna get mad. She's like, all right, all right. Yeah, that's what I have to do. What are you doing? <laughs> Attack or run away! Toriel prepares a magical Stop looking at me that way. Oh, I guess we have to keep doing it and see what happens. Go away. Oh, now she's mad. Oh, hoo. Oh, hoo. Oh, now she's feeling bad. to go home but... but please go upstairs now I promise I will take good care of you here you know we do not have much I know we do not have much but we can have a good life here why are you making this so difficult please go upstairs <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, no, I'm at 2 HP. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Aww, hug back. Goodbye, my child. It's okay. I'll, I'll come stay with you. No! I'm just kidding! You thought so hard! Well, guys, going to be the end of this video today. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you want to see more. Tell me down in the comments what you thought about this ep today's episode. I try to make it a little extra funnier. Um, and tell me some true pacifist tips down in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!